guys, mobile and web applications are something that we practically can't live without. From ordering food, to booking flight tickets, to making important bank transactions, these apps have made our lives easier. To cope with the changing demands with respect to user experience and security, web development needs to take a robust and efficient approach. This video tells you what the future of web development will look like. Hey guys, welcome to this short video on future of web development. But before we begin, if you haven't subscribed to our channel already, then hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to never miss an update. So let's begin by understanding what web development is. A web development involves building and maintaining website and other web applications. A web developer is expected to convert a web design into a website. They are responsible for how a website or web application looks and functions, from its user interface and page layout to backend systems for gathering data. So a lot goes into building a website. There are several tools, frameworks and packages that help create web applications. HTML, CSS, JavaScript are the basic languages required to develop a website. JavaScript offers several frameworks and libraries like React, Angular, and Vue. JavaScript and its environment like Node.js and Express.js. Node is an open source cross-platform runtime environment that allows developers to create server-side tools and JavaScript applications. Knowledge of the basic command line like NPM, Node Package Manager, is essential. But I'm sure you're aware of all this. So what's going to be new? Well, according to experts, there are four major future trends in web development. So let's start and decode them one by one. First up is TypeScript. TypeScript is a superset of JavaScript and is an object-oriented programming language. In simple terms, it is just JavaScript with other impressive additional features. TypeScript supports all JavaScript libraries and frameworks. With an increase in code complexity, JavaScript had to fulfill the requirements of OOP. Hence, that lead to the introduction of TypeScript. TypeScript helps with quicker code development, thus improving performance. There are a few improvements with TypeScript that give it an upper hand over JavaScript. Only at the time of development does TypeScript bring out compilation issues. This reduces the chances of mistakes occurring at runtime. A property of TypeScript is that it is strongly typed or enables static typing. Static typing allows type correctness to be checked at compilation time. In JavaScript, this isn't possible. TypeScript is nothing but JavaScript and some additional features, i.e. ES6 features. Some of these features are interfaces, generics, namespaces, null checking, and access modifiers. TypeScript supports IntelliSense, which provides active hints as the code is added. So considering all these advantages, TypeScript is something that will be widely adopted by teams across the globe. Next up is WebAssembly. WebAssembly is a new way to run on the web. WebAssembly or WASM is the second universal programming language that all web browsers can understand and run. However, you're not going to be writing scripts in WebAssembly yourself. It's a low-level assembly language designed to be very close to compiled machine code and very close to native performance. What this means is practice is that JavaScript is no longer the only language you can run on the web. Web browsers can run any language now, if that language has a WebAssembly compiler. Even traditional desktop languages like C++ and Rust can be compiled down to WASM with relative ease. WASM currently runs in 94% of users' browsers, with IE, UC Browser, and Opera Mini support being the main things holding it back, as per usual. However, it's backed by developers from Mozilla, Microsoft, Google, and Apple, and support in modern browsers is fast moving. Next up, we have package managers. Packages 
a package manager or package management system is a collection of software tools that automates the process of installing, upgrading, configuring, and removing software packages for a computer's operating system in a consistent manner. It typically maintains a database of software dependencies and version information to prevent software mismatches and missing prerequisites. NPM is the package manager for the Node JavaScript platform. It puts modules in place so that Node can find them and manages dependency conflicts intelligently. It is extremely configurable to support a wide variety of use cases. Yarn is another package manager that replaces the existing workflow for the NPM client or other package managers while remaining compatible with the NPM registry. It has the same feature set as exciting workflows while operating faster, more securely, and more reliably. Lastly, we have JavaScript dialects. Compiler to JavaScript, there are many JavaScript dialects like CoffeeScript, Dart, Babel, TypeScript, and Svelte that offers better features than JavaScript and ultimately compile to JavaScript. It is likely that these languages will be the future. There are several other predictions like better appreciation for web standard, less client work, and more focus on personal projects and the need to know more languages. Regardless, the future of web development looks more promising than ever. If you wish to make a career as a web developer, start now. So where do you think the future of web development is headed? Let us know in the comments below. Thank you so much for being here. Watch out for more videos from us. Until then, keep learning and stay tuned to Simply Learn. Hi there. If you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.